Hey everyone, it's Leviathan here again. This here is my intro video to explain to you guys what I normally talk about for my videos that I make from this point on to help you guys out. My Leviathan universe is very prodigious. I have 15,000 plus characters and creatures that are accounted for as compared to the infinite number in this infinite onion of a multiverse. The five main heroes are notably the five most focused characters in my Leviathan universe. There's Madame Shear, founder and owner of Blader Tech Industries. There's Dentrini, who's the biological granddaughter of Satana, founder and ruler of Tartarus. And she herself is also um, the director of the Paranormal Defense. Pym is a Lunarian, which is an alien species that's currently endangered after their home star exploded. Um, Colossa is the, uh, the granddaughter of Goddess, who is the founder and leader of the Alpha Gods and creator of the Cosmos. Colossa herself has infinite growing capacity, can shoot nuclear beams from her hands, can break the fourth wall and other powers. And Kyjericus is Queen of the Mutants who's basically a woman who was mutated into a giant reptilian kaiju woman, who now protects people from kaiju-based threats. I have all of this elaborate information I could, could tell you and such, because they are all really impressive, and I really recommend that you gotta check these stuff out, because it, it will blow you away, and you know who Stanley is? Stan Lee, the guy who created Spider-Man, the Fantastic Four, the X-Men, the Avengers, and all that stuff. I am planning to be as blessed as he was. And I really hope that this is the right reality. And if you guys want, I really hope that I could be able to succeed with my creations. Yeah, so basically it's really impressive stuff, and I made all of them, and I have to make it up to them. You know, because I made them exist, and I have to make it worth it for them. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. And I hope you guys have a decent understanding. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Enjoy. Hello to everyone watching this video. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning and autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction. And I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stan Lee did. I've got great news that I have to start. I have officially marked my Levitt's Paradigm online for people to view without editing, so you can see how much progress I've been doing so far with my creations. And also, my, um, my autism video, that video that I've made, like sometime last week, is now my most successful video so far. Over 300 views even more so than my first ever video. So I thank everyone for helping me make that happen and such. And I really hope it helps me get to my destination as efficiently as possible. Thank you everyone. For this video I'm going to introduce three characters. And I hope you guys um, could be able to keep up and such. You know how it is. Liza. Real name? Liza Wagers. Height, 6 feet 3 inches, weight 213 pounds. Status, villain, and intergalactic bounty hunter. Base, futuristic dimension, mobile. Intelligence, 5 brains. Behavior, stubborn and destructive. She'll do anything to kill for money. Lethality, extremely deadly to most opponents. Weaknesses, pride. She has bad anger issues. Powers, she has a strong healing factor, martial arts, can survive unaided in space, and can duplicate via injury. She rides on her space bike, which can travel at maximum speed, travels across time and space, and runs on nuclear energy. She also wields a pair of pistols with plasma and nuclear shells, along with a red laser, which, by the way, is Leviathan Universe equivalent of a lightsaber. She also has an acute sense of smell. Eyes deep blue, hair light blonde and spiky. Origin. In the futuristic dimension, 
Liza is known to be a genocidal intergalactic bounty hunter, along with being the descendant of the character Predator, who is the older sister of Captain Wagers, who Captain Wagers is the Leviathan Universe equivalent of Doctor Who, just so you know. She taught herself to kill long before she knew how to walk or talk. Since nobody wanted her to have any other job, Liza would kill people for cash. While helping the villainous Dorella Victors, who is the disowned sister of Captain Space, who is uh, a traveling space explorer hero, with an attempt to destroy Captain Space, she was rewarded with her own red slazer. You know, from Dorella Victors. However, Liza and Dorella had their plan foiled as soon as Captain Space got some help from Psyblade, who is the futuristic dimension equivalent of Madame Shear, the founder and leader of Blader Tech Industries. But despite their defeat, Liza and Dorella are still great allies. Costume? She wears futuristic biker clothes. Team Solitary with Dorella Victors and other villains or inspiration? DC's Lobo. Here's the next character, just so you know. Dollface. Real name, Gwendolyn. Height, 5 feet 11 inches. Weight, 127 pounds. Status, anti-hero in Living Doll. Base, New York City. Mobile. Intelligence, 3 brains. Behavior. Seductive and sneaky. She enjoys feeling beautiful. Lethality. Only when anchored or during a fight. Weaknesses. Extreme temperatures and dislocations. Powers. She could turn her opponents into toys. She also has martial arts, strong pheromones, and has a special charm that helps her digest her food. Eyes greenish turquoise, hair bright blonde and flowing. Origin. One time, Voodoo, his, who is an evil witch doctor, decided to tame a doll to transform into another loyal servant. She then commanded her clay statue sidekick, Clay, to head to New York and find a useful doll for her. While there, Clay found a series of Gwendolyn dolls and decided to steal one to take back to his master. Voodoo then placed the doll into her cauldron to use dark magic to not only bring the doll to life, but to also make her life-sized. After trying to make Dollface a servant, Dollface turned Voodoo into a toy, thus Voodoo gave her freedom in exchange of being turned back. At one point, Gwendolyn turned Denstrini, the, the CEO of Paranormal Defense, into an action figure, until Ignitia, who is Denstrini's pyrokinetic sidekick, rescued her by creating a blazing shockwave, nearly destroying Dollface and changing Denstrini back. Since then, Dollface would always think twice before getting any more problems. Costume. She simply wears nothing official, though she still has the anatomical design of a traditional doll. Team, solitary, or with others, or inspiration, Barbie. Here's the last character, just so you know. Gulliver. Real name, Lynette Gulliver. Height, 6 feet, weight 196 pounds. Status, hero, and president of Lilliput. Base, Lilliput, Bermuda Triangle. Intelligence, 3 brains. Behavior, witty, willful, and confident. She'll do anything to protect her throne from any Brobnangian threats. Lethality. Depends on the circumstances. Weaknesses. She has an innocent heart and lack of awareness. Powers. She has high agility, martial arts, and is skilled with weapons. In terms of her island home, she possesses enormous size and strength. She later gained some immortality. Eyes. Deep blue. Hair. Tennis brown. And a long ponytail. Origin. Lynette Gulliver was a girl who desired to travel the planet on a boat. One day, while traveling in the Bermuda Triangle, she got in a severe storm that made her boat sink, and when she awoke the next day, she found that she was tied by a swarm of Lilliputians. The president of Lilliput then spoke to her, mistaking her as a Brobnangian, but when Lynette told him her name, he found that he was the descendant of Lemuel. Later, the president explained to her that Lilliputians and Brobnangians were going through a severe war, and that there's a prophecy that his people would be saved by the descendant of Lamia Gulliver. Soon, the warrior queen of Brobdenang, Galia, arrived to fight against Lynette, and she almost won if Gulliver didn't throw a large stone to her face, thus getting a slit throat by her own sword. Since then, 
the president finally retired and gave his job to Lynette, days after she gained immortality from Goddess as a reward. Costume, she simply wears nothing official, just whatever she feels like wearing. Team Solitary or with other heroes. Oh, so inspiration? Lemuel Gulliver. Well, those are the three characters, and I hope those ex like those explanations were worth it for you guys. I just I just need this all to work for you guys. You know what I'm saying? You should have, you know. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. And I hope you guys enjoy the the rest of the month of April. And I really hope you guys could share more of that My Autism video along with any other video as well to other people because that would really help. Like, I literally now have 7.1k views thanks to that one video. And that is a miracle. You know? So, once again, thank you everyone. Hope you guys have a fine rest of your time and such. And until next time, in transmission.